Hey guys, how are you? My name is Kashif. I have been in this field for the past nine years. I am a Microsoft certified trainer and uh, I bring with me a huge experience on SACM. I have been in this field for the past nine years. I have taken more than 100 batches so far. Um, classroom training, online training as well as uh, corporate training depending on the requirement when we get. we. Uh, provide the training as and when the requirement comes in. Okay, so if you want to contact me for training, you can call on this number 9892354331. And uh, if you are calling from outside, you need to include, uh, you need to add plus 91 before uh, uh, this number. You need to remove this zero and add plus 91 before 9892. Uh, 354331 as a plus 91 is the India code. If you want to contact me on uh, my email address, you can uh, uh, contact me on this uh, email kashif at makemeitexpert.com. So, and my website address is www.makemeitexpert.com. So, basically, I am uh, an SCCM trainer and uh, I have uh, uh, you know taken more than a hundred batches so far on SCCM this is the course content or this is my website okay so you can go to this website um, uh, make me IT expert slash uh, SCCM hyphen admin dot HTML or you can directly go to uh, this one make me IT expert dot com and there you can click on SCCM link and you will land on this page so this page contains your course content whatever we are going to cover in the SCCM training so it is end-to-end um, -end training starting from scratch suppose you don't have anything in your um, um, infrastructure and you are building the whole infrastructure all together all together so we will be having uh, our lab infrastructure everything will be practical we are not just running the PPT and we are done no we will be having our um, um, servers either on VMware or on Microsoft Azure uh, um, virtual machine. We will build our uh, domain controller, we will build our SCCM and database and client computers on um, Microsoft Azure uh, portal and we, everything is practical and we will have um, application deployment, software patching, operating system deployment, mobile device management, um, queries and reportings, you know, as uh, we have mentioned, uh, everything in this course content. Uh, the training duration is 35 hours, okay, and uh, uh, there are two types of uh, trainings we are conducting, either on weekdays or weekend. That depends on the availability of uh, the, the trainers as well as the availability of uh, the, the students. That depends on how we want to go about it. Okay, so this is the course content. If anyone wants to contact us, you can call um, plus nine one, uh, the country code, and then nine eight nine two three five four three three one. So, or you can email us on Kashif. My name is Kashif at makemeitexpert.com. Okay, so that was about uh, the, the 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 training. Let me take you through SCCM uh, overview, why we need SCCM. Everyone is talking about SCCM, SCCM, but what is SCCM? Why we need SCCM? What are the benefits of SCCM? What are the crucial things uh, you can achieve with SCCM? So Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager, that was started in 1994, and we used to call it as SMS, System Management Server. It was started as SMS 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, then SMS 2003, System Management Server 2003 was launched in the year 2003. And uh, <clears throat> then what happens, you know, when you get a service or a product, it needs improvement, right? So based on the request or feedback from multiple companies, Microsoft have developed, Microsoft um, uh, added functionalities and they developed a um, higher version of SCCM that was SCCM 2007. So from 2007 onwards, Microsoft changed the naming convention from 
SMS to SCCM system center configuration manager okay so 2007 SP1 SR2 SP2 then again Microsoft uh, released a new version called SCCM 2012 and that was released in 2012 SP1 SP2 the updated version of 2012 again the naming convention was changed okay so 1511 was released in 2015 November 1602 released in Feb 2016 1606 uh, released in June 2016 1610 released in 2016 October and 1702 that is the current branch of the, the recent current updated version of SCCM is 1702 okay so the, the training duration is 35 hours after this training you can go for the certification that is 7 the certification code is 70-243 you need to score at least 700 out of 1000 to pass the exam after taking this exam you get MCP Microsoft certified professional certificate from Microsoft also um, the cost of this exam is uh, 4800 Indian rupees and somewhere around $100 in US if you are in US or Canada or UK you will have to spend uh, uh, around $100 to to take the exam okay so as this is a demo session and um, I am not going into details so just an overview SCCM is uh, comprised of sites and site roles so we have central administration site primary site secondary site these are the three major sites in SCCM okay then we have management point these are the roles the management point distribution point software update point fallback status point these are the roles okay okay multiple roles are available depending on the requirement we install the roles okay so why we need SCCM that is our main uh, concern here so we need SCCM for these basic uh, things so asset and asset management we need SCCM for hardware and software inventory okay suppose you have 10,000 or 50,000 computers and devices all over the globe you cannot you cannot um, take a pen and paper and write it down all the information about the hardware configuration and the software configuration of each and every computer rather SCCM keeps all the information in its, in its database okay so hardware inventory software inventory asset and compliance um, sorry asset uh, intelligence it is for categorization of application software meeting is for usage um, uh, usage pattern if uh, for licensed application remote management you can remote into any computer and in, uh, in your infrastructure using SCCM deployment SCCM is basically a deployment tool so you can use SCCM for application deployment software update for patching operating system deployment content management compliance management using SCCM you can make sure that your computers all over the globe uh, is compliant and if any computer is non-compliant SCCM will find that out for you and you will be able to track that computer and make that compliant okay power management you can suppose after seven o'clock in the evening everyone leaves the office so you probably do power optimization like turn off the monitors uh, of all the computers or um, put the put the computer on sleep mode something like that you know client health SCCM is basically a server and client um, <coughs> application so if the client is not healthy it will repair the client okay uh, reporting uh, very much needed because you, whatever you are doing you need to get it in the report monitoring SCCM keeps uh, monitoring the, uh, the the component of SCCM uh, the distribution point the management point and uh, um, notification uh, you know the client everything is monitored and you can check if anything is wrong you can find that out and troubleshoot accordingly then security rule based administration NAP endpoint protection is like antivirus and uh, you can deploy antivirus you don't need semantic or Norton you have SCCM Microsoft is giving endpoint protection along with SCCM to um, safe and to make your computer safe and secure also there is one more thing here is mobile device management using mobile device management you can uh, manage your mobile devices like Android iPhone and uh, other mobile devices right so these are the basic uh, 
uh, functionalities of SSCM, okay? Why we need SSCM, we have talked about. Now, uh, what we do, uh, what happens, SSCM is, basically this is the high level diagram of SSCM. Central administration side will be sitting on the top of the hierarchy, then primary side, and then secondary side, okay? Then you have, uh, uh, when we go in the lab, we actually create servers like this. One will be your domain controller, the, seven, the second server will be, one server will be your domain controller, the second server will be your SCCM and database server, and the third, third computer will be your client computer, either Windows 8 or Windows 10 or Windows 7. That depends on the, uh, how we go about it. So that is how we go in the training, okay? And everything is practical, guys. So we are not running just PPT. We will uh, go on cloud and create our servers, or we will have our uh, servers on VMware like this, this thing, domain, SCCM, and uh, Windows 7, and new hardware, something like this, OK? Or we will go on cloud, and uh, we will have our, uh, we will have our servers uh, on the cloud and we will connect all the servers on one LAN network and get the things get the things rolling okay now if you want to contact me uh, you can either call me on uh, this number 9892354331 if you are calling from outside you need to use plus 9198923543331 if you want to contact me on email so this is the email kashif at makemeitexpert.com and this is my website uh, www.makemeitexpert.com. So I hope the session was informative. This was just an overview session and uh, uh, if you want to uh, if you want to have a training on SSCM or if you want to have any anything uh, anything clarified or if you have any session which if you want to have any topic in SCCM which is not cleared and you want to get the clarification uh, you can contact me anytime I'll be available thank you so much for watching the videos and uh, please subscribe for more videos thank you and you have a great uh, day evening or whatever it is thank you and you have a nice day bye bye guys bye thank you bye